Yo, what's up? It's Jordan Martin with Martin Investment Group and Martin Stock Club. This is our daily watch list for tomorrow, September 12th. All right, so let's get into it. One of the stocks I'm looking at is ChargePoint. And the reason I'm looking at ChargePoint, I'm looking at it mainly for a swing, but we could day trade it as well. Because, you know, ChargePoint, when it starts moving, it can move. All right, we see last week it had two days where it moved over 5% back to back. So we could see that again this week. I'm going to set an alert above the high of Friday's candle just so I can get notified if we start pushing into new highs. And the biggest reason I'm looking at this for a swing is if we come to the weekly chart, not only do we see that we went ahead and broke above and closed above its resistance level that we previously rejected twice on the weekly with the strong push last week, uh, we also see that we broke this downward trend line that was acting as a resistance Right, and we see that because of these multiple rejections. Rejection one, two, three, four, five, right? So we got five, you can count this as well, six rejections of this trend line, broke above the trend line, came back, retested, and now we're starting to make a move again. All right, so I'm looking at targets for my swing. I'm looking at the highs on these weekly candles. I'm looking at 1925, and then I'm looking at $21. All right, and those being those first two main targets, of course, we could trail our stop. Um, so I'll probably go uh, maybe a month or maybe two months out on contracts on this to give us some time to make that move so I can have time for the trade to work out and to make more money, right? Second stock that I'm already in, but I'm looking at adding more is Nicola. Okay, again, looking at the weekly, we see that we're bouncing off of a weekly support. All right, we see we supported here, broke through, and then came right back here, supported again, supported again, supported again here, All right? So we have a weekly support swing over to the daily and we see that we're testing that trend line. So normally, yes, you want to wait for that break um, and even the retest, but I went ahead and hopped the gun early. The main reason I hopped the gun early on Nicola is because for their contracts that expire on the 23rd, which is two weeks, we had 32,000 in volume compared to 500 in open interest. Um, and the biggest reason why I like that is because it's not a spread for the same week, right? So not only are these most likely being bought to open, not sold to open, this is also not being counteracted by selling a put. So just most likely to me um, is gonna be heavy call buying, right? So that's what I'm looking at. I'm already in the cola. Now uh, we did come and reject this level right here where we had a triple top form. If you drill down to the four hour, uh, it might be a little more visible, right? So when you come down to the four hours, much more clear to see these rejections. One, two, three. All right, but I am looking at that and I have you no know, time on my position as well. And then when it comes to targets, I'm looking at taking out highs on the daily. All right, so I'm looking at taking out about 595. I'm looking at about pushing towards the 630 area for my targets on this trade. Okay, let's go look at Pinterest. Now, you usually don't pay trade Pinterest um, but here's why I'm looking at Pinterest today. One, last week we broke above and closed above a resistance, right? We see the rejection. One, two, three, four, five, right? Five rejections of resistance. We broke above, closed above. Our close of this candle is also only two cents off of our high, which means that we closed very strong, very bullish. We opened up, pushed down some, and then shot up the rest of the day and closed near our highs of day. And then if we come look at the weekly, we see that we broke this weekly bull flag that formed on Pinterest as well, right out of this support level. So support bounce, bull flag form, broke through the bull flag. We have a gap target above at 26.13, which you can see on the daily. If we zoom out a little bit right here. And then, of course, our easiest target to go for is about 27.50. Uh, after, of course, we break through this 26.75 level. So we got about 26.75, and then we have about 27.50 to look at um, on Pinterest. And I'm gonna just set an alert for new highs compared to Friday's candle. So hopefully we don't gap up and it just overtakes this and goes up here. I'm not in this one yet, all right? And then the last one I'm looking at that I'm gonna share in this video, there are others I'm looking at that will be sent out in my daily watch list email, as well as get posted in my Discord. Uh, but the last one I'll put on this video is Marvel, right? The reason I'm looking at Marvel, I'm go ahead and plot that right there. The reason I'm looking at Marvel is one, on the daily, we went ahead, we gapped up, bounced off of this support. 
Uh, so we're headed towards this potential resistance level. It's about another dollar away for us to hit. So we have a little bit of room there. Um, my biggest thing is on the weekly, we're currently inside. All right, so we have an inside bar on the weekly. Um, and I'm anticipating this breaking. All right, so I'm gonna put a alert right above the previous week's high, which was 5090. So we can hit 5095, and I probably watch it to really take out 51 dollars, um, just because that's the even psychological level. We can take out about 51 five cents. Then I'll look at going ahead and hopping at Marvel and taking up to 55 dollars. Um, and I'll actually, I'll actually adjust that alert right now because I want to be on the safer side. I don't mind giving up an extra 10 cents to make sure I'm more confident in the move, All right? So that'll be what I'm looking at for Marvel to swing, maybe three weeks on those contracts. Um, again, you know, no trigger, no trade, but we are seeing that instead of us continuing to make new lower lows on the weekly, like we have been, we just made a lower, I mean, a higher low, All right? So now we can assume, or we can try to plot this trend line here. All right, we're connecting these lines, these wicks, boom, 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 All right? And so we see what this gives us potential for us to go ahead and move back to retest this upper trend line, which would put us at about 55. Um, if we do it within the next one week or two weeks, put us at about $55 to test this trend line. And that's going to be on line with these rejections and these tests that we have right here. All right. So that's real quick rundown. Some stocks I'm looking at trading next week. Some I'm already in, some I'm not in yet. Again, there are more that I'm looking at on my watch list that are shared in our Discord and shared to my daily watch list subscribers. All those details are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. See ya. We out. Have a good trading week.